Okay, I arrived in Frankfurt at the airport, and this is day one. I'm very close to boarding my plane after a four-hour drive to here because I didn't want to take an extra drive. Well, I didn't want to take an extra flight to Frankfurt, so just one flight. Hopefully, they don't lose my suitcase. That would be really bad. Um, but I'm pretty excited. I can see the plane outside. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated. Okay, hi everyone. This is my first hotel in Tokyo. I am literally, well not literally, but like 100 meters away from the very famous Shibuya crossing and I didn't think I would be this close, but you know, sometimes stuff just happens and that's where you end up. Um, for today, my plan is to see one of the parks that I had written down. I want to see the Meguro River, because that's supposed to be really beautiful in Sakura time, especially at night. I have the Mega Don Quixote on my wish list for today, as well as something like Okonomiyaki, which uh, I'll just show you probably. The flight was pretty bad, to be honest with you. Uh, I had like a dad in front of me with two children and his wife and he was being not very considerate, which is where I leave it. Um, it's just, you know, you, flying is a shared space and some people are not very good at sharing spaces. Yeah, didn't sleep much, but right now it is 3 p.m. So still a lot of time for day one in Tokyo and I'm really excited to just take you along and hopefully we can get some nice shots. I'll show you my outfit as well. There you go. Got the, got the Naruto fit, you know, the drip wrapping my boy. And uh, yeah, I'm still wearing my, my German shoes, sandals, but I'll be putting on my Jordans to go out. I'm really excited. Okay, I can't believe I'm in Tokyo. <laughs> it's crazy, I swear to God. Did you miss me? I'm back and we're ready to take a look at Shibuya. Of course, first we went to the famous Shibuya crossing and then we went to Meiji Shrine and it is so beautiful there. It's a giant park in the middle of the city and it's so serene and nice. Of course, we had to check out Hachiku as well, take a short little visit there and then just stumbled across a couple of stores until we ventured down a staircase and into this restaurant that we found by total accident but it was amazing they let you fry your own food and it was absolutely delicious we caught an early night after that to take on day two Hi everyone, we're in Gyeon, I think is how you pronounce it, park right now. I was hoping for a little bit more cherry blossoms, but we did get to see some and this is the Taiwanese pavilion that we're currently at. It is really beautiful, there's a pond out here, we're gonna try to take a picture from the other side and I'm really happy just at how beautiful everything is here, for real. Stop the cow. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, the blossoms were a little late this year, and so we only got to see a few in Tokyo. But we did get to see the Mega Pokemon store, as well as the Pokemon Cafe, and you know I had to get something there, get a little coffee with a Pikachu on it, and they actually sold Baumkuchen, which is a German treat, and I was really excited about that. Uh, they even write Baumkuchen on the 
posters where you can buy it. So that was really cool to me. And of course, I also shopped a little bit at the Pokemon store, but I'll show you later what I got. There is One Piece stores everywhere in Japan. We saw at least four in the time that we were there. And then at night, we just took a little extra walk and we were actually a little bit late to get some dinner so we ended up at this dipping soba place but it was really good and i actually really enjoyed it uh i wish i could have this more often it's just a nice little light treat and then after that we had to walk home but it started raining again Day three started off with a lot of rain for the entire morning. So we decided to take a little bit of a trip to a very special store. Yeah, ich warte aber, dass die Autos vorbeifahren. Hi everyone, we're currently in the south of Tokyo. We're here at Hirota. They make one of the best karate gis and I am trying to buy one. I tried to buy one in Germany and it's really hard to know your measurements. So hopefully they can help me with that. And we're gonna we're gonna just try and order one. I'm not sure how far we get with just English, but I have my trusty translator in my pocket, and uh, yeah, we'll try our best. I'm really excited. <laughs> one eternity later. We just got finished buying a new karate gi for me, and I'm really excited. We took custom measurements for everything, which took a long time. I'm not sure if my body is just weird or if that's just how it is, but they were super pleasant. They took all the time they needed and it was really, really nice. So if you're ever in Tokyo and you're in the market for a new karate gi, I would highly recommend to come here. They've been so sweet, but you can also order online. I'm not getting paid to say this, but I've just been really happy. And yeah, that's been a really cool experience to be honest with you. I wasn't really able to film in there, but here are some shots from the Shibudo Sangyo that we went to afterwards, which is really, really cool. It's a weaponry store. Because of German laws, I couldn't import one though. In the end, we ventured through Akihabara and just looked at a lot of the weep stuff there, but we needed some extra food towards the end. So we went to a steakhouse that was for some reason open until 3 a.m. It was super cheap, but extremely tasty there. We're gonna be traveling to Hakone and I cannot wait to share all of the experiences with you. Leave a subscription if you haven't already and let me know in the comments below what your favorite part is about these vlogs.